In this, uh, we'll see how to solve combinatorial problems. Combinatorial problems can be solved in two ways. One with polynomial runtime, other not in polynomial time. If you want to find the solution in polynomial time, then there is no guarantee that you will get the exact solution. It is approximate. If you want to find <coughs> exact solution, but you cannot achieve poly polynomial runtime. So already I told what combinatorial problem is. Example, traveling salesman problem, assignment and knapsack that we have already discussed in brute force design technique. It will take runtime because number of computations in order to find the solution is either in factorial or it is in exponential. <coughs> so as the in value increases even number of computations will be in factorial or it be in exponential. So finding the solution will be a tedious task. So we'll see how we can find the solution by backtrack design technique. So we'll see in exhaustive search. This is applicable to small instances. Dynamic programming is applicable only for few problems like knapsack, traveling salesman, so on. In backtracking, we are eliminating some unnecessary cases from consideration. Here, this aids the solution in reasonable amount of time, but still worst case is in exponential only. Branch and bound is uh, which refines the backtracking idea. This is applica applicable only for optimization problems. Now we will see backtracking design technique. Using this large in instances of combinatorial problem can be solved. This is improvement over exhaustive search. You can construct candidate solution one component at a time and evaluate the partially constructed solution. This can be done by constructing state space tree. So I will tell you what state space tree is. State space tree is nothing but tree of choices being made. Nodes indicates partial solutions. Edges choices in extending partial solution root represents initial state and first level in the tree indicates first component of a solution in state space tree you can find two kinds of node one is promising that means if a partially constructed solution leads to a complete solution then that node is called promising node otherwise it is called non-promising leaves represents either dead ends or complete solutions this state space tree can be constructed by depth first search manner so this uh, how you can construct this uh, tree and how to find the solution by applying backtracking technique I'll explain with the example <coughs> backtracking is more suitable for non optimization combinatorial problem now uh, this backtracking technique is applied to solve n queens problem we'll see what n queens problem is is here problem is to place n queens on n cross n chessboard so that no two queens attack each other so when the queens will attack when two queens are in the same row or in the same column or on the same diagonal if n equal to 1 
then problem has a solution n equal to 2 and 3 there are no solutions we will see now for 4 queen place 4 queens on 4, co 4 cross 4 chess board such that no 2 queens attack each other so size of the chess board is 4 cross 4 first queen can be placed in any of these columns but when placing the second queen you have to place in such a way that no two queens attack each other so not in the same column not in the same row not diagonal like that remaining three queens is to be placed this is the problem now we will see how to find the solution to find the solution for four queens problem you need to construct state space tree as it is indicated in the previous slide root indicates the initial node in this just i have taken the four cross four chess board queen is not placed in the chess board so first level of the tree indicates first component of the solution so try placing first queen in the first column next <coughs> so extend this now second queen if you want to place in the first column not possible second column it will be diagonal then only possibility is third column now i have kept the second queen in the third column now we'll see how to place the third queen third queen cannot be placed in the first column second column it will be in the diagonal third in the same column fourth in the fourth it will be diagonal not possible so backtrack to the previous node here uh, so all the options uh, like when you place the third uh, second queen in the third column you cannot place the third queen any in any of the columns so try placing the second queen in the fourth column so when you place the second queen in the fourth column we'll see now the third queen how it can be placed so first queen so now third queen cannot be placed in the first column so next you can place in the second column now so th three queens we have placed in such a way that no two queen is attach uh, attacking here now we will see the fourth queen so fourth queen cannot be placed in any of the column so we have reached the dead end now backtrack to the previous node and this is ruled out and fourth column is also uh, ruled out backtrack to the previous node so we have explored all possibilities placing first queen in the first column so this is also over now backtrack to the initial state now place the first queen in the second column when you place the second uh, sorry first queen in the second column this is not possible this is also not possible this is also not possible only possibility is try placing the second queen in the fourth column so with this third queen now you are in the third level that is for third queen you are working so you can place in the first column so already successfully we have placed three queens on the chessboard now you have to try for the fourth queen fourth queen cannot be in first column second column because it will be in the same column only possibility is you can place the fourth queen in the third column so this is the solution what we are getting here so that means 
so first queen is indicates first row in the first row the first queen is placed in the second column second queen in the fourth column third queen in the first column and fourth in the third column so 2413 is the solution okay so another solution can be obtained by extending state space tree or otherwise by using the board symmetry you can find the other solution that is 4 minus i plus 1 the calculations are shown here the other solution is 4 sorry 3 1 4 2 these two are the possible solutions for four queens try to find the other solution by extending the state space string thank you